Hi, this is Amar again from SSOtrust.com Australia and in this video I am going to be showing you how you can successfully install an SSL certificate on Nginx. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is generate a certificate sign a request and a private key. But just before that what we can do is create a default SSL directly in Nginx so it will be convenient to store all the files there. Now this command to do that is sudo make directory slash etc slash nginx let's call it ssl and we just created a directory by that command you can find the written description for this in the very description of this video so you can copy and paste the commands as we go basically a csr or certificate sign request is nothing but a request initiated by you the client to the certificate authority which contains all the necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So once we're done with that, we can now type in the command to generate our CSR and private key. sudo open SSL request new dash new key we are going to be using the rsa 2048 hashing algorithm now dash notes dash key out now we are going to specify the directory that we just created to store the private key and the certificate sign request let's give it a name let's call it server.key and now do the same for the certificate sign request. Let's call it server.csr. Press enter. Now we need to fill in some information, such as the two letter country code, the name of your state, your city or town, and your organizational name, such as SSL Trust, and the unit, such as IT and your domain name without the World Wide Web. Press enter, the email address, just press enter, leave this empty, enter again, and we have generated our certificate sign request and private key. To view your certificate sign and request, we're gonna type in the command cat slash etc slash engine x, slash ssl slash server dot csr copy this from the very start to very end and save this and your private key in a notepad file if possible just to make sure that you don't lose any keys in case there are some problems on your server so this is how it was to generate a csr the next step in this process is going to be ordering and configuring our ssl certificate okay so i'm here on the ssl trust homepage. And as you can see, SSL Trust has partnerships with all the various leading certificate authorities. And we do provide certific SSL certificates for all kinds of businesses and single domain names. So whether you want security for just a single domain name or you want something more premium with a business SSL, you need more authenticity and validation, or you want to go for a premium extended validation SSL, or you want to secure unlimited subdomains with the wildcard SSL certificate, or you have multiple domain names and you want to secure them in one certificate. So these are one of the many options and you can choose from various brands. So basically, if you need help in choosing an SSL certificate, you can always reach out to our sales and support team and they'll be happy to assist you. Now, what we're going to do is Head over to a standard SSL certificate for this video. Choose your direction. Click on Buy SSL. And click on Checkout. Fill in these details real quick. Choose your preferred method of payment. And click on Complete Order. So once you're done with that, you can head over to the SSL Trust dashboard. 
and click on the certificate you've just purchased and click on start certificate configuration. If you have a person doing this for you, you can send the following URL to that person. So now we are we copied our certificate sign request from here or from a text file and paste it right here. Click on verify CSR. And if your details just look good, then we're good to go. Otherwise, you can run the command again to issue a new CSR. Server type is going to be nginx. Click on next step. And fill in your first and last name real quick. And your email address. And use the same contact if you're doing this yourself, or you can use new contact here. Click on next step. Now comes the important part of the process, which is domain control validation. So basically, you need to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is Sectigal, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. So there are three methods of doing this. First one is the email method, which is the easiest one. You should have one of these five email addresses at the rate your domain name.com, which when you click on submit configuration, you should be sent an email on when you open it. There should be a link, which when you click on should validate your domain name and should get you your certificate issued. Otherwise, the next method is the HTTP file method. So you need to create a text file with this exact name and you will need to create these directories. And then in that text file, you need to paste in these contents and wait for the records to propagate over the internet and for Sectigo to be able to see this text file and validate the ownership of your domain name. You can click on the check file button. Here. The third or the method that we're gonna be using is the CNAME record validation method. So basically, you need to head over to your DNS settings with either your hosting or domain provider, and you will need to add a CNAME record there. I've opened my DNS settings, and what we're going to do now is copy the CNAME record from entirely, Control A, Control C. Then what we're going to do is add a new record right here, type CNAME, and paste the CNAME record here, and the pointing to value copy it as it is, the CNAME value, and paste it right here. Click on Save, head back over to the certificate configuration, and click on Check DNS Record. Click on Search. Now, this should take some time, depending on your DNS service propagation speed, or with your hosting provider, what kind of DNS do they have. So this might take from a few minutes up to an hour. So just keep coming back here, click on search. The, these records should propagate. But for now, we can head back and click on submit configuration and click here to access the validation manager. So you can come back here and choose your method of validation and click on submit or recheck just to refresh things on Sectigo's end. So otherwise, you can head back to the dashboard, click on your certificate. And you can click on the Access Validation Manager button here in case you close these windows. So for now, we can search our DNS record. And as you can see, it has propagated in quite a few places. So we can click on the Submit Recheck button. So it has been a while and then our DNS settings are propagated in quite a few places. And our certificate has been issued. So you can come back to the dashboard again. Click on your SSL certificate. Let's close this up. And then your certificate should be issued. But in case you're having any issues or you might think that you have left something, so you can click on the reissue reconfigure certificate button right here to do the whole process again with a new private key or an old private key and a new CSR. So we're going to click on the collect or download certificate button now. And you can now see your certificates right here. You can there's various formats. And that's it basically. So we have ordered and configured our SSL certificate. And the next step in this process is downloading and uploading the SSL certificate files to our Nginx web server.
So to upload these files, what we can do is the first set of it column, we're going to click on copy to clipboard and head over to your ACSH client again. And what we're going to type is command sudo nano. We're going to create a new file and then copy the contents of the certificate there. Let's call it slash etc slash engine x slash SSL. And let's call our main certificate as certificate.crt. And we're going to paste it by right click here. And then what we're going to do is press on enter just after these dashes. The next line, what we're going to do is come back here and click on copy to clipboard on our intermediate certificate. And we're going to just right click and paste it right here. So basically, according to Nginx's documentation, the certificate and intermediate certificates should be in one file. So we're just doing this. Now, once you've, once you've done that, click on Control X, exit the buffer, press yes, enter, and we have now downloaded and uploaded our SSL certificate file to our web server. So the next step in this process is to edit or modify the default virtual host file. What we're going to do is navigate to the configuration nginx configuration files. So we're going to type in sudo slash etc slash nginx slash sites dash available. And we can type in default. We're going to sudo sudo nano, just add nano here. default and this is the file name press enter so now we're going to modify a few things now i am mentioning again that you can find the commands in the very description of this video so what all do you need to modify and where and i scroll down and scroll down until you find server name the first server name change it to your domain name This is the first change that we're going to make. Scroll down again. And when you see this virtual host configuration for example.com, what we could do is just very quickly uncomment all these lines. Okay, so once you've done that, what we're going to do is change a few things right here. So make sure you follow, otherwise you're going to have errors in your configuration. So we're going to do listen space 443 SSL. Scroll down, change the port number here too. Server name, we're going to change it to our domain name. We're going to change the root to var www slash html. Now, basically, we have to tell this configuration file where our certificate files and private key lies. So we're going to type in ssl underscore certificate and then type in the directory where it's stored, the location, etc slash engine x slash ssl. And it's called certificate.crt if I'm not wrong. And then we're going to do the same for the private key SSL underscore certificate underscore key space the same directory. And it's called server.key. So I'll review the changes again. And the first change is going to be the root. Here, if you're using multiple virtual hosts, so please refer to the Nginx documentation. Change the server name here, the second change. And the third change is going to be in the whole bottom section. So the 443, both here, and the server name, 
then the root again then we added the patch to our SSL certificate and add a semicolon after the certificates by name just to mention since this is a command everything ends with a semicolon now we're gonna exit the buffer control x y save and press enter now we're gonna type in engine x slash dt make sure that the configuration syntax is okay and the test is successful so now we are going to just restart the nginx web server so type in sudo nginx slash s reload and now we're going to check it on our website itself so go to https colon double slash your domain name dot com And as you can see, our connection to our website was a success. Our web server is working successfully and our connection to this site is secure and our certificate is now 100% valid. So now what one thing more that we can do is test our SSL certificate. So for that, we're gonna head to a website called ssllabs.com. Copy your, your URL, test your server and paste it in the hosting right here. Click on submit. And carry out further tests on the SSL encryption of your website for your production environment. And you can make sure that the ciphers and the TLS versions are up to date and you can refer to the Nginx documentation for that. So this is how easy it was to install an SSL certificate on Nginx. I hope you were able to do it yourself by watching this video. And uh, if you've got any questions, please put them, put them in the comments below and please refer to the documentation in the very description of this video. Thanks for watching.